one of the things you see with people all the time is that they're, maybe they're trying to stumble forward towards their ideal as poorly defined as it might be, but then they're afraid, right? They're afraid about what they might encounter, and that stops them, because fear does stop people. It freezes you like a prey animal, and so people move ahead, but then they get afraid, and then they stop moving ahead. And so, and that's not so good, because negative emotion is a really powerful motivator. So we're more motivated by negative emotion than positive emotion, quantitatively speaking. Quantitative, quantitatively speaking, you can measure that. And that's, I think, because we can only be so happy, but we can really be suffering and dead, you know? So we have to pay more attention to the negative. And that's bad, because the negative can stop you. And then, in my clinical practice, you know, I'm, I often talk to people who are trying to make a difficult life decision, and, and they, they're weighing out the costs and the benefits of making the life decision, you know? And one of the things I always talk to them about is, wait a second, that's an incomplete analysis. You have to weigh out the benefits and the costs of doing this. And you have to weigh out the costs and benefits of not doing that. Not doing it. And that's not the same as the zero that you assume that you're starting with, right? Because to not make a decision also has a cost. And sometimes the cost of not making a decision is far worse than the cost of making a decision, even if the decision is risky. And so one of the things you can derive from that, and this is very useful, I think, is that it, this is also, I think, why it's so useful to contemplate your mortality, so to speak, is you're screwed no matter what you do. You know, and that actually frees you, is that you, you, you have path A that has catastrophes, and you have path B that has catastrophes, and you don't get to have the no-catastrophe path, but you get to pick which one. And that's really something, because if you know that there's terrible risk associated with everything that you do and don't do, then you can afford to take some risks. So then you think, okay, well, I'm trying to make this decision. I'm going to go try to do something difficult. And isn't that terrifying? And then you think, yeah, but wait a minute. What's really terrifying is not doing it. And then you think about the cost of not doing it. So in the future authoring program, we have people do this little meditative exercise, which is, okay, just think about your insufficiencies by your own definition, right? The way that you don't do what you know you should do about the things that you do that you shouldn't do, that you know you shouldn't do, beyond a shadow of a doubt, right? There's some things like that. And th that's bad habits, and, and poor aim, and all of the resentment, and hatred, and aggression, and unresolved conflicts, and all those things that are dementing you, and warping you, and then think, okay, those things get the upper hand, man. They get the upper hand, and they take you the worst possible place you could go in the next three to five years. What exactly does that look like? And so you sketch all that out, and you think, hey, I don't want to go there. Well, so you want to get your fear behind you, right? You want to get it behind you where it's pushing you forward instead of in front of you where it's stopping you. And you get your fear behind you pushing your for you forward by actually thinking through the consequences of not putting your life together. And the, the least of those is that you waste it and suffer, right? Because you're going to suffer anyways, man. So you waste it and suffer. That's a bad deal. Because maybe if you're going to suffer, you could at least do something noble and glorious and upright and powerful and honorable and admirable and helpful and, and difficult. You know, that's just so much better. And maybe that's good enough so that you think, hey, you know, little suffering, it's basically worth it. At least it's a way forward, you know. At least it's a way forward.